It was a warm summer evening, Albuquerque, New Mexico, July 1969. I was eight years old and sat with my family watching a black and white television with rabbit ears when Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon and said those famous words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I walked outside into our backyard and I laid in the grass and stared at the moon. And it raised many questions for me. Like, what will my life journey be? You know, what is it like to be a part of something bigger than you? My father, the physicist, and my mother, the nurse. My father represented the values of intellectual curiosity, and my mother valued compassion and empathy for people. They taught me balance in life. As I grew older, I got into sports, and I fell in love with the game of basketball. My father played basketball when he was younger, and we'd go shoot hoops together. And as I learned the game and played on more teams, my father would tell me stories about Coach John Wooden of the UCLA Bruins. I started reading everything I could find about Coach John Wooden. The little things matter. You know, the way he would teach his players on the first day of practice, how to put on their socks so they don't get blisters, how to lace up their shoes so that they don't trip and injure themselves, and that those details lead to bigger things. You know, how we work together as a team, how we treat one another. After high school, I decided to go to New Mexico State University. And it was at New Mexico State that I fell in love with June, who would eventually become my wife and my partner in life. I also found a passion for technology that would become my career. And then it was in the early 1990s uh, that I joined Microsoft. And it was right at this inflection point of personal computing becoming ubiquitous around the world. And people who had never even seen or touched a computer now had the opportunity to own one and use one. In 2008, I became Chief Executive Officer of Juniper Networks. Four years into my journey at Juniper Networks, I had one of those clarifying moments in life. It occurred at an annual physical where the doctor, upon doing an exam, asked me a simple question. He said, how long have you had this mole on your arm? Well, of course, I go in to the skin specialist on Monday, and sure enough, it turns out I have melanoma. I decided that at this point in my life, I want to focus on living life and doing things that are joyful with people I love. And with the support of June and my family, I had the time to completely address my health issue. It was about a year uh, into that process. I had lunch with Howard one day. I realized that he had obviously unique skill base and experience uh, in terms of technology, but he had much, much more than that in terms of uh, servant leadership, uh, really uh, the kind of person who immediately I, I knew would fit the values and culture of our board and the company. Well, I picked up the phone the next day and I called Howard and here I am. Each person in this world goes on a journey of self-discovery. The self-discovery is, is much more about the human connection. I think I'm finally learning to listen with my heart. Maybe much of my career has been spent on the, on the mind side and the technology side. This journey is about the heart.